So uh, what else have we got today? We've got the M&A rumours and movers. Uh, okay. well, I just thought we'd look for a change today rather than pick a specific stock. We've been obviously just a couple of days into June, so we've had a chance to sort of digest what happened in May. It's quite interesting, I think, to note then that May was a record month uh, for M&A in the US. A total value uh, of deals done worth $243 billion. have to be a little bit careful about these numbers because it depends who we're taking equity value, debt value, etc. These figures are from Seeking Alpha, and I think that's basically everything but the kitchen sink in there. Um, if we're looking to see how um, that, that sort of stands be with previous records, May 2007 was the, was the previous high, uh, 226 billion, the total value of deals done then. And prior to that, January 2000, we struck $213 billion worth of deals. So 200 billion plus is the danger zone. Well, possibly. Has been the danger zone. Yeah, it looks like it. We'll come to that in a moment. But if we look at just the, sort of the trend, uh, the first quarter of 2015 was 20% 20 20 ahead of the same period in, in 2014 in terms of deal value. Uh, and the total uh, in 2014 was itself 45% over that scene in 2013, according to stats from Goldman Sachs. Um, they point out a, a few things, really, that... Um, that have helped things, but what they term benign conditions. So confidence from CEOs in terms of making deals, strong equity markets always a help because if you're issuing paper uh, and you want institutional backing, if you know if the markets are feeling bullish, that's got to be good news. Of also availability of funds, it doesn't seem to have been a shortage of. Uh, well, they're sitting on piles of cash. They're apparently. sitting on piles of cash. Uh, you know, private equity has been happy to help out, and banks have been quite keen to lend money. Um, that's also probably got something to do with this. Um, acquire a share price is doing well after deals um you know, you know it's good news if you can you know do a deal see your share price go up it encourages so you. the market is sort of in favor of these it things. is it is yes although although maybe it's not always the best judge yep. um, in terms of drivers cross-border deals sector consolidation have been the have been the main drivers of, uh, for, for this m a boom um it probably would have been rather more if there hadn't been a few tax inversion deals uh, scuppered yeah. It would Absolutely. have been through the roof. It Absolutely, would have been like four, yeah. three or four hundred million. It, it billion could easily have fit those figures. Um, and we're not done yet by the sounds of it for, uh, for 2006. And recent rumours uh, are in the auto sector with, uh, with Tesla, the maker of, uh, of electronic cars run by uh, Elon Musk linked with another big tech company Google. Well, I'm, I'm keen on that because I think Apple are going into the, uh, into the car area, so Google probably retaliate with the move on Tesla. Quite possibly. Um, and, if, and if there were to be another, another suitor, it might be Fiat Chrysler because they're said to also be looking for, for partners in that space. Just finish this slide with a, a word of caution, though. In 2007 and 2000, the market sold off sharply six months after the M&A records were made. And I think you used the phrase... Buying at the top. Yeah, well, so, you know, buyer beware, perhaps, and, uh, you know, maybe in November we'll have a look back and see, and see how we stand. Okay.